my name is Stephen Bishop. I'm a mathematician. I'm from UCL in London. I'm the managing the coordination of the Future ICT project. Future ICT, or Futurist actually, it's both pronunciations work, is a large scale project which the European Commission are thinking of funding in what they think call big science. They want a big science project to solve big problems for over a 10 year period. So Future ICT is one of the bids that will hopefully succeed in this really big endeavour. We actually understand that huge amounts of money have been spent on physics and understanding biological systems, but very little is known about our social systems. We think absolutely now is the time to utilize ICT and put that together to try and understand our social systems. We don't really need any better examples than recently. The financial crisis that we're currently in is a clear example that we really do not understand the connections that we have in our society today. We've seen recently disasters which the disasters in themselves are bad enough, but it's how we respond to that disaster clearly requires an extra dimension to our understanding which we currently don't have. If we look at health problems, we understand that disease spread could be modelled and we could be saving huge amounts of money in putting actions in place. So actually, I think this is a project we really cannot afford not to do. We have to do it. Our society at the moment is globally connected. In addition, we do not understand what the connections are. So really to fully understand the complexities, we need a new approach. We have to look at new ways to model our globally connected system. They are connected in non-linear ways as well, which makes them even more difficult to understand. And furthermore, they adapt, they socially adapt. So we have to develop new ICT tools and methods and models in order to help us understand that complexity. So really is a connection between social systems, complexity science and ICT. It's quite clear a business as usual approach will not succeed on these problems. They are massive in scale. We have to understand the connectivity that's going on. We have to understand the implications of ICT within our social systems. Studying it within social science alone will not achieve the goals that we require. What we need is to bring the components of multidisciplines in, specifically ICT, social science and complexity science, but we have to understand how mathematics, physics, statistical physics and other areas, cognitive social science can be brought to bear on these problems. We have to collaborate with major activities that are taking place in other countries so that we can combine our efforts. We would like Europe to lead this domain, but we don't want to be there alone. We want others to combine with us. With Future ICT, we aim to create a living earth simulator that will help us understand those problems. We understand to do that though, we need big ICT platform structures. So there are some major scientific challenges to understand how the ICT components will all fit together, especially if they're linking into real-time data that's coming in. So we need to be able to have new ICT paradigms that enable us to do that. So if we can create a living earth simulator, then we can really build new socially aware interactive systems which will include new ICT systems as well. So it's a really exciting time that we can actually both understand and influence our behaviours. We have to understand how these socially adaptive systems behave. We, we just cannot understand at the moment how our systems can evolve so rapidly and also decay so rapidly. So we need to really fully understand those. We need to engage the system engineering approach to try and understand how you would manage such a large scale project. So this is not a small effort. We would have to understand how new 
elements of supercomputing could only, not only be used, but actually created using these paradigms. So there are a number of challenges that we, we face. In addition to that, we have the social science challenges that we would like to use the Living Earth Simulator to try and help us understand our society much better. The Futurist Project will bring about breakthroughs in three key areas, actually. One in ICT. We believe it will develop new tools of ICT, new methods of how we communicate and how we interact with our society. On the societal side, it will help us understand our social systems much better so that we are become more aware of how we are behaving and what's going on in the world. This will enable policymakers to really make bigger decisions on our society. So there are three obvious gains that we would actually be able to create with future ICT.